Whenever I'm about to tear into an album, it's just, I have to acknowledge, at least if the artist or at least one of the members says something about it in a cool way. Guys, that's how you handle criticism. Thank you. What's up everyone, John from ARTV. It's time for a review of the debut album, at least under the Hey Violet name, From the Outside. And like you saw from that opening part there, one of the members, if not the entire band, apparently watch my reviews, which I think is cool, and you can definitely learn a thing or two. I know I personally could, because we could all learn something about how to handle criticism. So, thank you for being cool about it, but uh, yeah, let's go ahead and talk about this album that I am really not enjoying for the most part. But I will say this, it's grown on me a bit. So Hey Violet started off as Cherry Bomb, and although they don't have all of those members, they apparently uh, dropped one and then added two. It was originally all female as Cherry Bomb, and then they've added two guys in the mix. And then they were signed a couple of years back to the Higher Hey imprint, which is Five Seconds of Summer's label, which is an imprint of Capitol Records. So, uh, they came off starting off sounding like a girl version of Five Seconds of Summer, in my opinion. I Can Feel It was their first single under the Hey Violet name, and while not a bad song, it's a catchy, brisk tune, it really didn't have a distinct personality. Seriously, it felt like something that could have been Five Sauce. They stepped it up a little bit with some of their coming singles. They had a little bit of success, they started gaining some traction, Fuck Boy was kind of big, and then Guys My Age actually seems pretty popular on Spotify, and I'm not sure if they're ever going to be one of those radio names. They are a, a band in 2017. And what I see as far as bands, at least mainstream ones go, that are trying to hit the top 40, it's more of a collection of producers, outside writers, and that sort of thing. And then the band is much more limited in terms of what they actually do with their instruments. There's a lot of electronic swells here, a lot of uh, extra overproduced moments that just do not feel right for a band like this that's trying to blend a lot of different styles, but they're not pulling off the majority of the time. Some of the songs are innocent enough, like the opening Break My Heart, which definitely has kind of that squeaky, pitch-shifted voice thing going on, but it's less irritating than you would think, especially after you've listened to it a handful of times. ODD is, ah, even though I hate the lyrics on it, the musicality isn't that bad, and there are things that I like on some of these tracks. Even if I hate and detest the lyrics, some of the instrumental moments are saving graces. But also, sometimes, that's my complaint. It's like they couldn't quite get it right on any of the songs. Like, sometimes the vocals are okay, sometimes there's a guitar or bass thing going on that's alright, but for the most part, it never really lines up. Some of these are just ungodly mixes of things that you would never want to hear from really any kind of band, especially one that seems to be catering to a younger audience. Uh, the name of the track is Hoodie, and it's one of the worst songs will probably easily go down for my worst songs of 2017 list. Hoodie is a song that is just kind of weird and odd and disturbing in a way. She's uh, really relating this whole relationship to a hoodie that she has left from this guy. I'm still rocking your hoodie, chewing on the string, she says, because it makes her feel like she's still close to him or a part of this relationship. If I had an ex that was doing that, I'd probably be the one that would be calling someone about psychiatric help, but uh, that's just me. My Consequence has the unsightful lyric, if you spill your guts, they don't go back in. That's like the most obvious statement in the world and something that I actually jotted down in my phone for my worst lyrics part two that I'll probably do in the coming months on SOS over on Beyond ARTV. It's just one of those things where it's like such an painstakingly obvious statement and they're trying to relate it to like, oh, if I say how I feel, I'm never gonna be able to take it back. But it just turns out to be like a B-styled horror movie. Like if you spill your guts, they're not gonna go back in. And it's like, great. Well, now clean up this mess you've made because I never want to hear it again. Unholy is the name of one of the songs and that sounds about right with the way that this bass is trying to like menace and build up, be very simplistic, light and clean and airy and that sort of thing. But instead it comes off sounding like a jumbled mess that wants to be kind of dark, has a cool vocal tone to it, but the way that it seems so overly done over the top with the production, it just kind of falls flat. 
I mentioned that some of the moments are okay. Guys My Age is catchy enough, even though it's kind of silly, a bit gimmicky with its lyrical content. It's fun, and I don't have any hatred towards that one. Uh, like Lovers Do, though, is the one that I have to throw some praise to. I think it's the best song on this, and I think it's the one that's going to get overlooked the most because it's different. It has kind of a dark theatric vibe to it. All of the album, right before that, we have Where Have You Been All My Night? Where has this band been all this album? It starts off small, the lyrics are interesting, it actually tells a story, the acoustic guitar sounds great, it's nice and clean, it builds, it has a swell, it has a great guitar thing, the instrumental meltdown, it's all great, it's all something that Hey Violet are clearly capable of, yet we only really see this on one track. And then right after that, we go to them doing a Ramones impression on This Is Me Breaking Up With You, something a la Blitzkrieg Bop, the most obvious song, and it seems like a bit of an homage or Elta ripoff, however you want to look at it, because there's the shouted backing vocals as she says, This is me breaking up with you. Despite a few okay and one good song, this album is mostly a snooze fest. Whenever it's not being boring, it's being insultingly weak in the lyrical departments and some of the just instrumental arrangements. I can't really give this a recommendation. I think some of it is inoffensive enough. It's okay, I guess. It grows on you a bit as you listen to the album. And I am sorry I'm a little late on reviewing this, but I still wanted to give it a review since I know that the band watches my videos. In the future, maybe uh, just try to maybe branch out a bit more, play a little bit more with your instruments and a little bit less with the production. That's my take on it. Couple of okay songs, 2.5 out of five. Have you heard Hey Violet's album? Let me know in the comments section down below what you thought and be sure to leave a like while you're here on this video. If you're able to, support me on Patreon. It's the annotation over in the corner there. Couple of recent reviews right here. Socials in the description and I'll see you very soon for more reviews right here on ARTV.